So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. We are hopping over to the UFL for this one. And, and apologies about the bush. This is going, folks. That's right. Today I'm cutting my hair. Finally, we're cutting off that. It's been a month, which I normally don't wait that long, but I got sick. So anyway, next time you see me, we're looking a little bit more trimmed. Also, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're trying to get that plaque. So I'm about 500 away. So if you do like today's video, give it a subscribe, give it a like. And I very much appreciate it because once FIFA comes out, folks, the content will be flowing again. We're going to play it whether I like it or not because we need to do something. Anyway, let's dive into this. So we're going to run this uh, this new snippet, right, from uh, Strikers Inc. and UFL. This is about long shots and it's about goalkeepers. Now, it's only about a minute long, so it's nothing mental. Uh, actually, I was going to do the wrong thing. But it just gives you an idea. There is one snippet of the uh, a player doing a header from a way, 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 way too far way out. It looked ridiculous, to be honest. So things like that need to be toned down. Uh, but it's just basically showing you the animations, the way the goalies are. I do think they do look improved uh, from what we've seen before. That was the header. A little bit madness why you'd have a header from 30 yards instead of chesting it uh, and taking it down. But I will say, considering... You know, what we saw before with the goalies, they looked a little bit off. Uh, they've certainly improved from from what we've seen. Uh, and, and the main thing, obviously, is about animations and the way the goalies dive, how they handle the ball, as well as their positioning. You know, how are they going to be positioned when you're playing? And that was it. That was it right there, folks. It was very, very short. We'll go over it again. We'll let it run a few times. And we're also going to go over an FAQ just to summarize a few points because... The whole feeling of, well, is this going to be arcade? Is it going to be sim? They've all, they've spoke about this and they've mentioned it in the FAQ that they, they want a more realistic approach, but they know it's very, very difficult to produce that because there's a lot more mechanics that can be made. Folks, I would love, I would love to make my own football game because I know what I would want, but it's very difficult. I don't know how to program a football game. I've tried programming. I did it in college and I hated it. That's why I went to the web design and graphic design phase. There are so many games on mobile and stuff that are arcade football games. It's so easy to make an arcade football game. You don't need to worry about physics. You don't really need to worry about the whole foot planting, even animations. Just put something that generally is fast and quick. Well, that's the same thing. And uh, it keeps your attention. And you can make a pretty good arcade football game. When it comes to a sim, it's a whole different story. You're talking about... You know, obviously the speed of the game. The animations have to be slowed down a little bit because players have got to take dedicated touches. Then you're looking at the physics. They've got to be on point because if they're not, the game's going to look a mess. There are so more factors to making a good, proper sim. You need an engine that is going to be able to build that and develop that. That's why FIFA, with the engine they have, they just can't do it. So yeah, one day, folks, one day, who knows, maybe we can create our own football game even with you guys. Like, wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, sub sub subscribe. I don't know why. Sub 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 a subscriber-based football game where we all come together and develop the world's best football game. Be fantastic. Now, there is also some commentary in this. I'm going to try and find it. Uh, I'm going to put the audio on real quick. An incredible save from the keeper. There was one. An incredible save from the keeper. Uh, there was another one around here. Trying his luck. Trying his luck. Excellent pass. He saves it brilliant. So yeah, it's What a shot. What that a shot. Match Definitely football, the winner there. I mean it is British commentary at least. Because I'll tell you what, folks, I can't do with the whole um, What a strike. Oh and look at the keeper. At the keeper. Amazing. I can't do with the whole American commentators. I've heard them. I mean, I watched the match the other day and the commentator was literally just going, go for like five minutes. I was like, dude, you're not Latino. The Spaniards, they can get away with that with the commentary. You know, the old Mexicans, Spaniards, Latinos, they can get away with it. They can say go for five hours. But if you're an American commentator, just be an American commentator. You don't need to say gold a thousand times over and over and over again. Or make it long-winded. Pathetic. But yeah, the commentary sounds a little bit iffy. I mean, it does sound very, very pre-recorded. Stuff like that, I think that needs to be addressed because no one in their right mind here. I mean, just chest it. Chest it. Take the ball down and put it in the back of the net. So yeah, I don't really know why he's going for that. But the animation for the actual goalkeeper um, didn't look bad. I do think they've improved. 
And then it's all of, as I said before, uh, I can't speak. I'm all over the place. As I said before, it's about the positioning as well of the players. So there we have it. Let me know your thoughts about that. Now, let's quickly go over uh, an FAQ regarding UFL, just to summarize. So when it talks about the release date, there is no release. They just say when it's ready, which makes sense. Uh, they will let followers on Discord be the first to know, though. So if you want to know, go over Discord. Uh, are you going to show more gameplay anytime soon? Yes, they are planning to do their insider, you know, UFL insider channel. That's what they just showcased. And that's what I do like that. This is it's unpolished and they're just showing us raw gameplay. Love to see it because it doesn't happen very often these days. What platform uh, will it be released on? Will it support PC? Well, initially it is going to be on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, the Series S, X, and uh, PC may be coming later, but it isn't confirmed as of yet. Uh, are there going to be tournaments? There will be some planned uh, as a competitive football video game, and there will be both regular, global, and player-made custom tournaments. Now, the interesting thing is it will not support manual controls on day one, which is interesting, isn't it? I've got nothing against that. That's fine, because I do think if you're going to put manual controls in there, they've got to work. Like, for me... Playing manual on PES, I can cope with, but I can't play manual on FIFA because the AI, when you face, you know, when you do AI versus you on manual, it's a mission. Like the AI doesn't affect them in any shape or form. They're still playing ticker, 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 tacker, whereas you're losing the ball more because you're playing on manual. So you've got to find a balance. But they hopefully, that way, will be ad, will, 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 will be able to, Blimey, I can he talk today. We'll be able to add it later. That's what I'm saying. Right. Will UFL support cross-platform play? It's planned, but most likely will be not available until right up until release. I can't. Most likely will not be available right upon release. I just made up the sentence myself. So yes, it will be coming later probably, but not at launch. But that's fine again. Like get things going. Remember, folks, there's a brand new company making a brand new football game. Can't have everything perfect. Uh, is UFL a simulator or an arcade game? And right here, we believe to be closer to the simulator realm, but we understand that making a completely realistic football game is a difficult and not a really viable strategy. Therefore, uh, we are trying to strike the balance between realism and fun. So hopefully, yeah, with that statement, there will be an element of the old sim in there. Will UFL be available for offline play? Well, they are primarily focused on online league. However, there will also be at least one way to play UFL offline, which is 1v1 uh, and 2v2 exhibition matches. Other game modes will appear later in the future. Uh, will there be a closed beta, open beta, or early access? Yes, some form of early testing will happen, uh, but we have no timing or any additional info yet. More details will be given in our up-and-coming The Journey video series. I do feel like they have to do that. If there's one thing they have to do, it's put out some sort of, um, you know, a, a beta. Because if they don't, then there is going to be, um, you know, problems down the road. You've got to have some sort of a, a testing phase. Will you partner with my favorite team X uh, and add League Y? They just talk about licensing here and just stating that it is complicated and uh, it's highly competitive. So they're trying to get to it. Will UFL be working with streamers and other content creators to promote the game like myself? Yes, Loki is growling in the background, doing the head in. Uh, we'll be expecting to get in closer touch and work with content creators later in time. So there we have it. That is that. So there we go, folks. That's pretty much the uh, FAQ. Summing up any questions you guys may have. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys make of this trailer. I just wanted to put it out there because some people may not have seen it. As I say, it does look better than what we saw before with regards to, you know, how the goalies are, you know, diving animations as well as the positioning. But in time, we shall see. There's many other factors and things we can talk about. But for the time being, we'll just focus on uh, the goalies and I'm not going to critique it too much. Anyway, till next time, subscribe for more. Hit the uh, subscribe button if you do like it, folks. We are trying to get to that 100K. All right? Love you guys. Till next time. Take care.